Hi everyone, Emmer Assassin here, and today I am reviewing a $25 bottle of beer. It is called The Wolf of Glen Murray. It is a dark Scottish ale, aged in a Glen Murray whiskey cask with a port cask finish. It was brewed in Lossiemouth, Scotland, and it is by Windswept Brewing Company. It is a strong beer at 9% alcohol. This is actually the most expensive beer I've ever bought for myself. But that being said, if um, you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like or a comment. Let me know if I should continue doing videos like this and I can certainly buy more expensive beer to review. And just a little disclaimer, I'm not a professional beer taster. If you've ever seen PewDiePie's uh, whiskey tasting videos, it'll be similar to that, but I'm gonna be a, a little bit more structured. For his rating, it was like how many times he said very nice. But I'm gonna actually have a rating system based on taste, smell, appearance, and cost to create an overall score. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> so let's open up this very cool bottle. That's kind of the main reason I bought this. I thought the container was very cool. It looked like a scotch bottle. It's pure. I also noticed um, when I was taking pictures of it yesterday that it has um, a little bottle counter or bottle number to show how limited this um, type of beer is. Mine is 564 out of 3,300. Very cool name. I like the whole Wolf of Glen Murray. Let's try it. So already, just based on the appearance of like the little container and the bottle, I'm gonna give the appearance score like um, 10 out of 10. A few years ago, I went to Finland and got this um, special glass for, um, it was like a beer tasting event. And it stands for like great beers, small breweries or something. And I figured that's a good glass for this type of beer because it's a craft beer for small breweries. Let's pour it like this. Very carbonated. So that's how it looks. It's a very dark beer. Quite the head there. <laughs> I probably should have poured it a little better. It's a very multi flavor, multi scent. <laughs> Has kind of a brownish head. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but kind of a chocolatey smell. Multi chocolatey. I like dark beers, by the way. <laughs> now for taste. Mm. It's good. It is strong, and kind of like I said before, it has kind of a chocolatey, malty flavor. Decent carbonation. Looking now, I see a couple little speckles of brown in the foam. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. For the smell, I'm gonna give it like eight out of 10. It's quite a mild smell but it's pleasant, I like it. Taste, I'll give it eight and a half out of 10. For the cost, I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of a lower rating, maybe about a four out of 10, just because for $25, I can get like a whole case of beer <laughs> for something of similar taste. Like it's good, but it's not $25 good. All right, calculations are in. Based on taste being 80% of the score, Smell being 10%, appearance being 5%, and cost or value being 5%. The overall score is... 83 out of 100. It's good, it's a good beer, but it's not worth $25. So that's it, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like or leave a comment or subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed this uh, beer review video. And I'll see you guys next time. Moi moi.